Hello, and welcome to Techno Magic. On this show, we will be reviewing all kinds of electronics, headphones, and other devices that have been tossed aside over the past 5, 10, 15 years. Everybody thinks that technology will go bad within those few years, especially things like DVD players and TV stuff like that, which in those cases it could be actually true because there, we're always upgrading, we're always getting new technology, we, like we had upscaling DVD players, now we have Blu-ray players, but here we will be reviewing headphones and any electronics that we can still use today. And all these products will have, will have come from places like eBay, uh, thrift stores like Goodwill, or just products that people toss aside in like yard sales and places like that. There will be products that we review that are newer, such as like I have a pair of Bear Dynamic DT990s that I, I will be using and reviewing in the, in the near future. Those are also will be the test, the high-end test for any kind of other headphones that I have that I will be reviewing. And I have a lot of headphones to review, about eight. And each of these products will be between $5 and up to maybe $80. And so be, be looking out for, for these headphones, because I found most of these at just Goodwill, because people don't want them anymore. In these videos, I will be listing specs and prices in the videos as I go, and I will be also be talking about what I think about them in terms of price and performance compared to performance, and if you should buy them or you should just take pass. Or even then, you could also think about it as a what if I just want something to wear while I'm mowing the lawn? And that, that's also a very valid reason to buy, buy a pair of headphones eh, or, a pair, or a device. Because you don't want to buy a $500 pair of headphones and go outside and mow the lawn. So this will also be a, for those people who want headphones such as the Skullcandy Uprox right here, which is, which is our first review, I would agree that these headphones are probably some of the better ones to have while you're mowing the lawn or doing anything that's hard work. Unless you want something like earbuds or a pair of uh, those ones that go on your ear, around your ear. But today we are talking about the Skullcandy Uprocks. But first, I would like to show a list of songs that I will be using in this review. It will be right, right here, probably across my face or right here in my head, right here. But I will be using these songs, and they will be songs from either the top 40, or they'll be songs from over the years, and just use them as a reference, you could say, because we all are different, we all have different ears, we all have different listening styles and what we prefer. All I can say to you is what I think of every single pair of headphones. So. Unless, unless it's something like bass or high-end like vocals or something like that, I can tell you what's best out there for you. But at the same time, you will still have a preference. Like for me, my favorite headphones right now is the Bayer Dynamic DT990s. I, and they're open, open back headphones. I love them. But that's me. And a, a friend of mine could want a pair of the maybe a Sennheiser HD 600s or something like that. Just throwing a number out there, and they will probably be a closed back pair of headphones, or or also an open back. But they they like that sound better in their ears. They prefer that sound. The first pair we are checking out is the Skullcandy Uprocks. At first glance, you'll probably look at these and think they're actually not that bad. They look they look decent. They look. They might look cool around your neck if you're walking around. They might not be the best of the best out there, but they are pretty good for the price range that they sit. At currently, they're about twenty to thirty dollars in that price range, and in my opinion, that within that range, they're actually really, really good. Tests I went through, as I listed before, they're in every song. They, it has been pretty consistent in how they sound, so. I'm actually pretty happy about that, really, because a lot of times when you will listen to headphones or anything like that, like it'll work for this song or it won't work for this song. There is one genre that these might not work too well for, but I'll get that in a little bit. 
But to me, this is the highs are pretty strong, sometimes a bit too strong unless you're listening to a certain type of song. The There is not much bass, but you can definitely tell it's there. And there is a mid-range, they're, and they're actually pretty good, I, I have to admit. But when you listen to songs like uh, M- Mrs. Hyde or um, Freak Like Me, my brain just went boof. If you listen to anything like that, then the guitar riffs start to start to mud together with the vocals and the drums. It starts to it starts to form together almost like it can't handle it. So for really hard rock music, I wouldn't really recommend these too well. But they are still pretty good for the price range, even in rock music. <clears throat> However, you you can just spend about ten, fifteen, twenty more dollars and go buy a pair of maybe Superlux HD 668s, but at the same time, those are over your headphones, and so they're not as good for walking around and going places. They're better for in-studio or at your, at your computer. So these are still priced pretty well. In the, in the, in the, like I said, the bass is actually quite lacking. The I listened to a few songs like Bang Bang, which has that sound to it, and it was there, but... I was expecting more because most headphones in this price range would always put like extreme bass or bass enhanced or in Skullcandy's case, um, I have to read this off the screen here. Supreme sound delivers attacking bass, and I'll put a link in the description just so you can see it because it's there on their their own website, and I don't I don't see it. It's this thing's not very strong, and I use a amplifier. To for every single one of my listening tests, I'll put post that put a picture of that up and maybe in the top right of the video up here, or top left. So it's not as good as I wanted it to be, or as I thought it would be, but it's still good. It's still there. Okay. On onto the comfort of the headphones. To me, these are not very comfortable. I would prefer them to be over ear, but these are, particular ones are on ear. And I might say they're not comfortable. Somebody else might say they are comfortable. It all depends on what shape your head is, or what how your ears flicker out, or anything like that. How your ears are shaped. In all honesty are not the most comfortable pair of on-ears I've ever had. I've, I've had cheaper ones by like Sony or anybody like that. They're a lot more comfortable. These ones right here, I've noticed after about 30 minutes, you start feeling a squish against your head, like pressure against your head. Then after about an hour of listening to them, it's, it actually starts to, to feel pain. So these will, these will not be headphones to, to constantly listen to, to have on your head for more than an hour or two hours. If you start doing that, you might start feeling some more pain, and it start it'll actually start to hurt. Maybe make make the inner ear of your inside of your ear quite red. So, if you are not a big fan of on ear headphones, these are not for you, because these are on ear. And I'll put them on right now. See. They actually really push against your ear, and you can see the top of your ear right here actually sticking out. So, these are on-ear headphones, and if you like on-ear, these will be great. But, me personally, they're not. But it's all up to you and what you feel is comfortable to you. In conclusion... Overall, overall, I have to say these are not that bad, really. For for the price of twenty to thirty dollars, you can't really get too much in the area of headphones. And when I got these, I got these for about five bucks from maybe from Goodwill. So I'm not complaining too much because they they're actually not that bad. And if you can find them at places like Goodwill or a thrift store for that cheap. They're good to jump on. 
Especially if you just want something to, to hang around your neck, around the house. You don't feel like, you don't care about breaking. On Amazon right now, they are $20, $30. So if you want them and you want them brand new, you can go get them right now, break them in, and try them out for yourself. But don't be expecting uh, ATH M50s or something like that out of these headphones. These are not built to be that. These are built for the the person who doesn't want to spend too much money on headphones, who wants a pair of headphones that they can carry around that they don't care about breaking or losing or someone stealing. Or you can get or you can buy it and give it to your kids. These are actually per perfect for them. Especially kids under 16 years old who haven't really gr grown their head shape, you know, in a way. So they can put it on the head and it won't it won't be that uncomfortable to them. And I will be posting up some pictures after this video is done so you'll get a closer look and how they look like these ones right here are kind of scuffed up a little bit so they don't exactly look like this because they're not new because I got them from Goodwill and when I got them from Goodwill they had the box but since I've had them I had them for a good half a year you could say collecting headphones and stuff like that so I can do this type of show so you'll see some scratches, and they don't look like that when you get them. But that's all I have to say about these headphones. If you like this video, give me a like. If you if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Or if you don't like it, you can dislike it. Every every little bit of critique helps. So in the comment section, put what you like, what you want to see, what you want to see improved. And as I always say in my drawing videos, keep drawing. Or in this case, keep listening.